we have been spending. You'll notice a recent video, we just actually bought this track saw, this track plunge saw. We did have a track with it. We went out and we bought another track. You can see in the video, there's still a little bit of dust. The vacuum that we're using, it was something like only like 12 kPa sealed suction. So we went and we bought a big boy Makita vacuum. This is a M-Class wet and dry vac. It has a sucking capacity of 25 kPa. So it's double the sucking power of the vacuum that you saw in that video. And we need to do that. We're working in some apartments. So this thing connected to this, cutting our cement sheet or a compressed sheet should take away all the dust as well. And like I said, we've got another rail. We'll just open that up. So then we can cut, it's 1400 long, so then we can cut uh, 2.7 sheets and that sort of thing. Here's our rail. Doesn't seem to have those clips that connect it all up. Do that. And if you're watching this video for the first time, wondering about, like we were wondering about this rubber strip, when you put the saw on the track straight away, it's kind of hits it. Don't worry about that. Your first cut actually cuts this strip. And another tip is uh, what we didn't do, but I did mention is join them all together and cut them all for the first time at the one go, joined up. Anyway, that's the track. That's all good. Let's uh, open this bad boy up. Now, I'll tell you what else we got while I'm, while I'm opening this up. We got this sucker. And this one is gonna be in a video of itself. This is the new 40 volt stick vac. And there's other stick vacs, what Eugene has with a separate cyclone attachment. This is the one that is actually built in. And this is coming up on a video after this one. So check it out. We're gonna like maybe throw some stuff on the ground and see how it sucks up. But that is the one, tune in for that. Here's that big boy vac. We need something, it's going to take the dust away. This is also going to be good for our Makita drywall sander. That's it there. And if you open it up, we have all the attachments. These things, this is what we need. We just make sure that this, this and then the hose okay this plugs in to there and that plugs in here I'll take him off and that goes in here beautiful and then we need to get this in here oh that just goes straight in anyway did it? Then why did we tape it up the other day? Oh no, we didn't use the other vacuum. That's right. Okay. Ooh. Ooh, see that lock in? You see that lock in? And that just gets pushed in like that. There we go. Sealed. Exactly how it's meant to be. As good as we can get with Makita. So we're looking forward to that. Also, this is going to be probably good attachment for our Makita drywall cutter as well. Sander. To be able to use that. And our, and our sander as well, which we've had to tape up in the past. So this is good for the drywall sander. This is good for this. And that's it. We're gonna give this a good run. Tune into a video when we work back out at that job where we're cutting the material. Uh, we're gonna pull this out and we'll see how that goes. So tune in for that. Is it Bluetooth? What? Um, no. Can you plug your dongle into it anyway? Let's have a bit closer look. No. Reset switch. I don't know what that button is. Maybe it's a click on off, I don't know. No but anyway, this is the model VC3012M. No dongles. So tune in for that. Let's see how it works. Hopefully it's good. I'll see you very shortly. We're going to unbox this right here. We're going to use it. I'll leave a link where you can buy these. These are new. 
yeah. is a new. So check that video out. Super excited for this. Might even get another one for home. But this is good for just cleaning up small little jobs. And apparently it's so good. So check that out. Thanks for tuning in for these quick videos. I'll see you next time. Pretty strong. Okay, yeah. We don't know what that is. If anyone in the comments can let us know what that is and what this dial is, so we don't have to read the manual. Maybe that's Bluetooth. Because I've shredded the manual already.